This is Hannah. Bible read. Being cheerful and kind. Share with your kids. The do not forget to do good. Uh, uh, good to others. And share with them what you have. Yeah, what you have. These are the sacrifices that uh, please God. Hebrews chapter 13, 16. Are you always a che uh, cheerful and kind? Are you helpful to others? Or do you complain Complain them when someone asks for you ha your help? In the picture on this page, Abby and Cassie are raking the leaves in their neighbor's yard. What are some of the things you can do to be kind and helpful? Uh, in today's Bible story, let's read together about a kind girl named Rebecca. K-I-N-D. K is for the king of kings you use, you see. Uh, I is for inside where he lives with me. And is for not for I will not fail the king. D is for devotion. His praises I will sing. Bible story, Genesis chapter 24, so, uh, 15 through 20. Here the pictures. Uh, Abram's servant had traveled a long time. He was thirsty and so wore his t uh, ten camels. Finally, he saw a water well. Near the well was a girl named Rebecca. He uh, asked her will you give will you give me some water please mm, yes Rebecca Rebecca answered then she cheerfully gave the servant some water I will give all your cameras water too she said Rebecca poured water and poured water and still the cameras were uh, thirsty, but Rebecca did not uh, grumpy or complain with a uh, happy heart. Happy heart, she kept getting water from the well until the cameras were no longer thirsty. Yeah, it's so hard to uh, get water. Is at, at the ancient, ancient time, the drawing water is really hard. You remember that. And read and share together. Let's talk about it. What did Abraham's servant ask Rebe Rebecca? What was the answer? What else did Ab Rebecca do? Share God's love. That was a lot of cameras to give water. Did you know that when you are kind to others and help with a cheerful heart as Rebecca did, you are sharing God's love? You are sharing God's love. Are you? You are sharing God's love. Putting away your toys and other things without being told is a way you can be helpful. Uh, see how many toys you can put away in five minutes. Ready, set, go. Yeah, to for to my you know grandsons always. Already says, please uh, clean up your toys like that. Let, ready, set, go. The prayer. So, dear God, help me to be a cheerful helper and show kindness to others. Amen. Yeah. The angry brother. The angry brother was the angry brother. The when you are angry, do not sin and do not go on being angry all day. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4, 26. Have you ever been angry with a brother or sister or a friend? Esau was angry with his brother Jacob. Their argument started when Esau real, realized he had trade, trade, trade his share of their father's property, his birthright, for a bowl of soup, power of soup. Let's use our time together to make a soup like Jacob's soup. Ask, ask whoever 
whoever prepares the meals in your in your family to help you. Jacob's soup, just one cup dry lentils and one cup one onion chopped, three stalks of celery diced, optional. Three carrots grated, one pinch of cinnamon, uh, one fourth of teaspoon of ginger, uh, one uh, one and a half teaspoon of clove, cloves, one teaspoon cumin, optional. Six cups of water, water, broth, chicken, beef or vegetable. Pick yeah. Pick through the dry. Here, the recipe like this. Yeah, the pick through the dry lentils to make sure there are no stones or dirt. Rinse and put them in a pot. Put everything else in the same pot and bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat and simmer for one on four hours. One and one half an hour um, served with pita bread. Hint, you can also ask a group to buy lentil soup in a can and help you prepare it. Yes, and Bible story is there. Here, just uh, Genesis 25, 27 through 34, 27, 1 through 37. 43 chapter 244 the Esau and Jacob yes Esau and Jacob were brothers Esau was the oldest which meant who when their father's property was divided Esau would get the most it was called his birth birthright as an elder son one day Jacob made soup while his brother Esau went hunting, when Esau came home, he was very, very hungry. Let me eat some of that soup. Esau said, I will treat you some soup for your birthright. Jacob answered, foolishly, foolish, foolishly, Esau agreed to the trade. Their father gave earth Esau's birthright to Jacob. Later, Esau saw, thought that trade was a big mistake. My birthright is worth more than a bowl of soup. Esau became very angry. His anger made Jacob afraid. Jacob went far away to his uncle's house, and Jacob did not come home for a long time. Yes, hear the scene. So let's talk about it. Uh, it. What did Jacob cook? What did What did Jacob cook? Why did Esau get angry with Jacob? Share God's love. It's okay to be angry, but don't let your anger lead you to do something you know is wrong. Animals get angry in a different way than people, especially people who love Jesus. Try this pretend game to show the difference. Act like a big angry bear. Act like a mad tiger. Ooh. Act like an angry monkey. Kee -kee -kee. Now act like a person who loves Jesus even when you are angry by being kind and thoughtful. So prayer, prayer, dear Lord, when I and I'm angry, help me to remember to calm down and Think about what I'm I'm doing and saying. Amen. Yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. The a happy a happy heart. Here a happy heart. A happy heart is like a good medi medicine. Proverbs chapter seventeen verse twenty two. Have you ever been unhappy and when the when when things didn't go your way, did winning help? Probably not. God knows things won't always go the way we want them to. 
but he wants us to be happy and joyful because of all he has done for us by sending Jesus as our Savior. Jesus lives in our hearts and brings joy to us. The next time you are tempted to feel about something, sing a song of joy. You can even make up a new song. So, Bible story Exodus 4, uh, chapter 4, 22 uh, through uh, chapter 5, 9, and chapter 14, 20 through 15, chapter 15, verse 16. When the Israelites, when the Israelites uh, heard that God had sent Moses to help them get their freedom from the king of Egypt, they were happy and thanked God for remembering them, but then things didn't go as they ex expected. The king would not give them their freedom. Instead, the king made them work harder. So now they even had to find their own straw to make bright to make fry bricks. That must have made the Israelites grumpy and unhappy with God and Moses. The Israelites didn't understand that this was all part of God's plan to free them. Uh, later, when, when God helped the, the Israelites across the Red Sea to free them, they were so happy. They sang a song to praise God. So read, um, read and share together. Let's talk about it. What made the Israelites unhappy? What did they not understand? What did the Israelites do when they were happy? Share God's love. When we are grumpy like the Israelites were, when things go wrong in our lives, we squish joy, squish joy from our hearts. Here's a fun way to see how joyful your heart is. Get a jar and a handful of beans every time you win or pout or complain. Um, put a bean in the jar. At the end of the week, count to your beans and see how you are doing. Um, one bean means you did well. But if you have a lot of beans, you have squished too much joy from your heart and need to work on smiling more than winning less. Prayer. So, dear Lord, I don't want to be a winner. Help me happy and cheerful with the help heart full of joy Jesus name amen God can oh, God can do anything God can do everything Luke chapter 1 37 God takes care of you every place you go school camping the seesaw visiting friends home he takes care of all his people all the time everywhere God can do anything. He used the miracle to take care of the Israelites when they left Egypt. Read today's Bible story to see just what an amazing thing God did for them. Moses was so happy. He sang the words below in praise to God. Let's sing them together. The song of Moses. Are there any gods like you, Lord? No, there are no gods like you. You are wonderfully holy. You are amazing, powerful. You do great miracles. Exodus 15, 11. And Bible story, there are so these Bible story. Exodus chapter 14, 5 through 31. Moses led God's people out of Egypt and right to the banks of huge sea. There was no way to cross to the other side of the sea and to make matters worse. The king of Egypt had changed his mind and sent his army to capture them. God's people thought they were trapped, but God was with them. God moved a tall cloud behind them to hide them from the Egyptians. He told Moses to raise his hand over the sea. God sent a wind that pushed the sea water apart and made the path rise through the middle. And guess what? That path was dry. 
the people didn't even uh, didn't even get their sandals sandals muddy as they walked safely across to the the other side. Only God can do a miracle like that. And did you know that when the Egyptian army tried to use the path, the water came back together, and that was the end of the king's arm enemy.